what a difference a day makes. This time yesterday, Storm Eunice hit the UK. 24 hours later, the water is as calm as can be. The trees are not even rustling at all in the wind. However, some of them have come down. And that's the thing I was mentioning yesterday as far as safety is concerned when you fish in storms. I'm mini jigging and the reason I'm doing this is number one, I enjoy it. Number two, I'm off to work this morning. We've got a game. So I'm going to be casting that little rubber minnow through the water and see if I can catch a fish. Icy this morning, it was so cold overnight, I was scraping ice off the car. One thing you want as far as fishing is concerned is consistency with the conditions. That wasn't the case. I think it will be a struggle. I'm not expecting to catch every cast. However, I do believe that I will get something on the bank this morning, even in this very short session, if it's just one perch. My confidence has been rewarded. And it is my target as well. Perch, it's a nice enough fish, especially on the gear that I'm using. It certainly puts up a fight. I do like to hold them as well. <laughs> hold them tight. I do like to hold them as well with the dorsal showing. That's always a nice image, isn't it? This one's turning its tail. Very much like a stickleback does when you hold that up. Another perch and a much bigger one this time. That's a fantastic fish, isn't it? I do love them. As you know, if you watch my videos, read my blog entries on a regular basis, they are my favourite species. And you know what? The hook came out in the landing net. And that's not unusual because you're keeping pressure on it, aren't you? Until you actually net it and then you slack and often the hook comes out, especially when you do mini jigging, which I am today. Very, very fine way of fishing. Right, let's get this beauty back. I love that, that was fantastic. Just half an hour as well. As I so often say, you don't need a lot of time to spend by the water's edge. Just 30 minutes fishing from the off because I'm lure fishing. It's a great way of making the most of limited time. And I've had a couple of perch and especially that last one. What a great fish that was. I'm absolutely thrilled with that. I spent last night at home with my wife and part of that was I watched Lionel Richie and the Commodores documentary on television. Thank you to Frank for bringing that to my attention. I do have a guest book on my website that you can post on there and also read comments as well. And talking of my website, the URL has changed this week. It's no longer theanglingrev.com as the main landing point, but stuartblaw.blog. I thought that was more appropriate because it started off as fishing. In fact, 2003, so a few years ago, the it was called the, uh, Angling Journal, Stuart Bloor's Angling Journal, anglingjournal.com if I remember correctly, but now it's more than just fishing, it's posting life's adventures, really, that's what it's all about now, so the angling doesn't have to be there, and the rev as well, for a few years now I've only been looking after a church, my church where I go to, so it's not a like a, a job, inverted commas, as such. But I've been doing that just for a Sunday morning. I'm not looking at getting back into that, taking on a full-time position again as I move on in my life. So I do consider myself to be retired, really, as a reverend as well. I might just keep the, the title and the, the credentials, but you never know what's around life's corner, of course. But to all intents and purposes, angling and rev have both moved on very much since I got the website. However, I'm still keeping that alive just for a, a couple of years, maybe. And then hopefully during that time, people who connect will go with the stuartblaw.blog option. Whatever you're doing today, enjoy. I'm going home, a shower, change, something to eat, walk the dog, and then I'm off to Park Hall 
for my favourite competition, football-wise, of all time, the Welsh Cup, as the New Saints host Gillsfield FC in the quarter-final.